Hello there. Now you might recall during the local body election this year, we sort of had a look at like 200 odd candidates that you probably shouldn't vote for because they were, you know, terrible people or being disingenuous about what it was that they were standing for. Or, you know, there was a range of issues there. Now, one of the ones that jumped out at me because it was one of the first ones that I did and I've dealt with him in the past was Roger Stratford. Let's see if you can remember Roger. This is him here looking down his nose at you. Now, Roger had a couple of very interesting campaign statements and positions, you know, including things like he can't be racist because he's got Māori friends uh, and that nobody who's Māori should be allowed in Hamilton's garden place between certain hours until, and I quote, they can explain that attitude of theirs. He was a real charmer. Probably won't surprise you either to find things like homophobic content on his social media pages, that he is a men's rights activist, and that, you know, people like Jacinda are terrible at their job because it's Jacinda. Hmm. It seems, though, that I have um, apparently been getting into his head. Then there's this post, where apparently it's my fault for not believing him or trusting him in his policy that Māori shouldn't be allowed in Garden Place. This is actually in reference to an attack that happened in Cozy Kitchen, which is an eatery in Kirikiriroa's Garden Place. It happened on December 4th. Uh, now, the owner of the Cozy Kitchen, uh, Jugdeep Singh, he's got big plans now to install more safety devices, and it's unfortunate that it's had to come to this situation. These people that were involved with this were doing big standover tactics, racial threats and slurs, that kind of awful kind of shit that nobody should have to go through. Uh, and the people that were involved with it were apprehended the same day. So it's not like this has gone completely unpunished. Um, one of them's going through the court system, the rest are being referred to um, youth aid, I think it is, Oranga Tamariki. Um, but it's not the sort of thing that you should really be going out there and politicising to prove your point that you're racist. Because that's what's going on here. But of course he can't be racist, he's got black friends. Kind of glad this one didn't get elected, but it does make me wonder, what have the ones that did get elected been up to? So we'll take a look at that this week as like a run up to Christmas. That'll be fun, won't it?